So we're out, out on trail. A bird flew out of the tree and now the deer came out of the tree. And Mr. did amazing because we're walking down here to get on. So he just stopped, didn't do anything bad. Okay, now I'm kind of like on a higher level getting on them. Stay. I tried to move a little, but not bad. Good job, buddy. Whoa. I'm going to stand here for a minute. Hook up. I'm kind of putting some pressure on the reins. Not on purpose, but I had to to get my vest hooked. Okay, and off we go. Uh, I did not lunge him, so he might be spookier. Uh, I was trying not to pound his feet on that ground. Uh, it is hot out today, so that always helps if you don't round pen. He's a little jumpy and spooky by himself. We're trying to help him with this, so all the horses have looked at this stuff. You're okay, good boy. Yep, and this baby talks him through it. Good job, buddy. Yeah, but I expect that he might be a little jumpier since I didn't run him around first. Okay. He just uh, has not been out a lot by himself, so that's why he's like this. And he's not like a lead horse, he's more of a follower. But they can still make great horses when you ride them alone, once they, once they get used to it. And they got to trust you and uh, believe that you're their leader, because they, these guys want a leader. So I actually hand walked him on the trail the other day, just so he'd get used to what the trails are like out here, but I did it the other direction. And then I decided, today I wanted to go this way because I want to take him in the water. And there's more waves in the other directions and a drop off. So. I was trying to help him, but so he's not really prepared as well as I'd like for this trail, but he's doing fine. Good job. He's just looking around, so you see my hands are kind of wide. He just breathe and relax and talk to them. Oh boy, he's like, that's a weird looking tree. It's okay. Somebody left their potato chips back. Good boy. But you see, he kind of assessed the situation and was like, mm, I'm okay. I'll do it for her. But they gotta like you and they gotta trust you for them to try for you. A little trippy on these rocks. Not horrible. I think his feet are still a little Tender. He just might have uh, tender soles. Oh boy. So he's real cautious. I saw around the other turn that there was a guy down at the lake. I don't know if that's what he's getting scared of or not, but we'll see. So he's being real cautious, snorty a little bit. something could be in these woods as well. You never know. Good job, buddy. Horses get used to their trails and then when you take them on different trails, especially when they're alone, they're a lot more cautious. And especially if they, you know, the trails they're from just had woods and nobody in them. And then when they smell people or other things, they get a little cautious and scared. That's why when people send me videos when I'm looking at them, I say, if you got bikes and you got hikers, you better make sure that horse has seen some before. Because when they come, then it's not their fault if they have issues with it and it's something you have to work on. But not that many people listen to me, they just go, okay, and they buy the horse. <laughs> and then it's not good with bikes. Bikes are difficult. Right. It's hard to get used to them. They pop out all over the place. Good job, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to hit this bush with my head. So I jumped a little bit, but didn't freak out. That's something you want to know. People try to avoid bushes, but sooner or later you're going to hit one, so you want to see what the horse does. If they jump forward, get them used to it. It's okay. I'm giving them time looking, but I don't let them turn around and go the other way. And again, I think this horse is 
eight. So again, like I always say, I think that's still a baby horse. But some older horses are like this and much worse if they haven't been out alone. So if a horse is nervous like this, you can flat walk, but you don't want to go real fast on them. You're okay. Because if you start going really fast and they're nervous, their flight instinct is going to be higher. And that means they're going to be quicker on their feet. So if you go flying around these blind turns and something jumps out, even if it normally doesn't scare them, if they saw it coming, they're going to jump quick. And a lot of people fall off like that. So if your horse is nervous, when it's alone, you know, you can move out some. You just don't want to go super fast and you don't want to go really fast if you're coming up on blind turns. You want to see what's coming. And it's not going to build their confidence by having things jump out at them. So he's got the pipe to go over here. You're okay. You can do it. So I'm just pushing them a little with my legs and now I'm letting them sit here. Now he's not paying much attention. Oh, there he's looking again. Okay, so I'm going to try pushing again. Good job. Oh boy. Now he's scared. It's okay. I gotcha. So I'm just holding him. My reins are long so he can put his head down. Good job. Now I'm going to give him a little treat for doing that for him. Good boy. Because that was scary for him. Um, it's hard. You got to let your reins go enough that they can put their head down and check it out. But still stay with the horse in case they jump in. And still be able to steer and then get your reins back. He did overall very good. He's really trying to do the right thing. So you can see the pretty flowers were going by. Okay, I recorded getting him in the creek, but I don't know if it got it, so we'll do it again. Uh, we came over on this side of the lake. Come here, buddy. Let's see if we can figure out how to come up to me out here. Nope. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I got my stick. Um, and he did pretty well. He's just going backwards now. So I got my stick so I can tap him. If he hasn't sidled up so much out here. Because we haven't been out here. So that's pretty good. Uh -uh, now he moves away again. So we just do it again. Good boy. Oh. This just takes time. Good job. Okay, so now he's pretty good. So you always keep your reins short in the beginning because you don't know. If you're going to get on, they're going to go off somewhere. Okay. Uh, we passed some people. He did fine with that. And I hand walked him a little bit to see if he wanted to graze, which he was too nervous to. So that's okay. So he's got a going home walk. <laughs> so he's walking a little fast. That's all right. And, uh, He's still nervous, so hopefully I'll get the water on video. So I'm going to save battery. So now he's walking a little slower. He's not as anxious. Okay, so we're coming up on the bridge. And uh, he went through the water for me, but he was nervous. We had to go down some rocks, and now we have people up on the bridge. So taking pictures. Good boy. Camera's doing something funny as usual. Easy. We gotta step over this. Now they have more incentive because we're going home. But those people are up on the bridge. Good job. Gonna be a little mucky. Okay. Cool. Uh, he 
sounded much better coming back. Okay, so now we got to go over some rock. You're okay. I don't think he's been over many rocks formation. Good boy, but he's trying it. He's just scared. Good job. Good job. Good job. And he's walking fast, but he hasn't done anything else wrong. And then we're going to take him a little bit into the lake. And then we head home. So, overall, I think he did well for his first trail ride out here. And again, he's trying. There's a guy down fishing before, so. Let's see. He's like, I don't know about this guy. Hmm. What do you think? I think that's the biggest creek I've ever seen. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Good boy. His shoulders. <laughs> I guess we'll get out. It's getting deeper. <laughs> you did really well, buddy. That was pretty deep. I went up to his shoulders. I don't want to get my phone wet. They must have let some water, water down because before I could walk all the way to the path. But he did really well. Good job. Good job, buddy. So he just jumped at a bird that flew out of the lake, but nothing horrible. And now we've got to find our way back up to the trail, so we'll see how uh, good off-roading he is in case he gets lost. No, we're going over logs and stuff. Can we find the trail, mister? I see a marker, so I can... Oh. oh, that's the one that was coming up. I almost took you down to the water again. Okay, he found it. Good job. Good job. Okay, uh, the good news is he never went out a gate. He stayed in a smooth gate the entire time, mostly flat walking. A little running walk and a little rack. I just didn't do it a lot since he was nervous. And uh, we'll try a canter up the hill on the way back. But his gates were very smooth. He never trotted or paced. Good job, buddy. Come, honey. He's like, why are we going down? So I'll make him go down the hill so I can come back up it see if he can canter this or not. And, uh... Don't worry, I'm not going to make you go in the lake again. Okay, so we'll see if he can canter uphill. Some of these horses, it's really difficult. He's good with vultures. Something dead in there. Um, huh? Oh, all right. Um, see how easily I get distracted? Some horses are good um, on the flat cantering, like some Rockies and some Fox Trotters, but the walking horse and Spotted Saddle, sometimes they can't canter on the flat, but they can canter on hill. Oh, we got a canter. Go hold my hands and get over the trail. Go hold. Canter. Much better than it was in the arena. Uh, so he can canter. <laughs> and he can spook. And uh, he can canter uphill. And, uh, I don't want to canter all the way back because this is going towards home. I just kind of wanted to test. And if you do it towards home, again, they have more motivation to go. So then you can see if they can really do it and they're faking, they can't. So this guy canter pretty good up hills. That would be the place to work on it for now. Um, and some in the arena. But it'll get much better because what he can do uphill was fantastic. That was fun. Um, but what he can do in the arena is not so fun right now. <laughs> Right? He's like, I don't know. Nobody taught me.